Hello everybody. So I'm creating this uh, 2D RPG engine thing in the background here, uh, although I've been pretty sick for a while. And one of the problems I have is that I don't like the default art assets that come with other engines. Uh, even if I could clone them, I wouldn't want to. So I'm always on the lookout for tools which will help me create more tiles. And this is a tool called Spartan. You can get it for pay what you want on itch.io. And I'm going to show you how it works. So this is just a set of bricks, and you can see how it looks scaled on any given axis. Over here on the left, you can see how it's generated. So while you can use this like any ordinary pixel editor, you can also use these mathematical operations. So in this case, we've divided the, the box into four vertical sections, divided each of the vertical sections into two horizontal sections. Now this alternating offset creates that brickwork look. We can also turn that off and get the straight up bricks. Notice that each brick is unique. They're not repeated. Uh, they, I'm talking about the, the coloring patterns. They're all unique, which is nice. We can change the shading. So, for example, if we make it rougher or less rough, which is nice. But you can actually do some really, really complicated things. So, for example, here is desert. Let's go ahead and generate some desert here. And what happens is, in order to do this, it generates some random points. It circles those random points. It shades darker with the dark color range inside those points, and it shades with a desert color range outside those points. And it's quite nice. The, uh, the way we can do this that's a little bit more uh, interesting, they don't have to be the same size. You can use these exact same algorithms to generate, say, a 64 by 64 instead. And so you can see that the exact same algorithm works fine, no matter how you scale it up. And if you don't like that many uh, rocks, you can always bring up the uh, inner and outer areas so that you get uh, fewer rocks and uh, more sand. So, like this. See? So it's a very flexible tool, and you can always paint on it normally. It's also got some animation engine stuff if you want to do some water. Um, or something similar, and there's a lot of power behind it. I'm going to show you one more little trick. Uh, over here in wood, I accidentally damaged the wood palette, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and create our own. So down here we can click on New, and let's go ahead and choose a color. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this kind of dark umberish color here, and then we'll go ahead and choose a nice light color, let's say this guy. When you add colors between them, it actually tweens beneath them, uh, tweens with a linear tween between them, which gives you a nice smooth curve, um, and that will allow you to do whatever you need to do. You can edit each of those colors individually as well, but we're going to go ahead and pick that color range, and you can see that it changed the look of it. So if we were to make it red, oh, I didn't pick the red one, I picked there. If we make it red, you get that kind of wood, and if we pick the one we just created, we get this kind of wood. It's very fluid and flexible. Um, and it also allows you to enforce palette across multiple sprites if you need to. So there's a lot of advantages to this if you are this kind, if you're interested in this kind of thing. Now, if you're not the kind of person who creates tiles, I will be releasing a massive tile set uh, with my with my little uh, library, and it'll be CC0. So if you don't feel like creating the tiles yourself, you can just kick back and wait for me to create them, and uh, hopefully they'll be decent. And uh, if not, well, you can make your own using a tool like this if you'd like.